guys, how's it going? I'm Dylan, although you may know me better as Conflict Nerd, and today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a spotlight on the first six tools available to you inside of one of my favorite mods, Traffic Manager President Edition. Not only that, I have the absolute pleasure of introducing you to the creator of the mod, Linux Fan. Hi there, my name is Victor, also known as Linux Fan in the City Skylines community. I'm the author of Traffic Manager President Edition. I live in Germany where I work for an IT service provider located in Frankfurt. I studied computer science at the Technical University of Darmstadt where I got my master's degree in 2016. To install the mod, all you need to do is head to the Steam Workshop and search for Traffic Manager. Simply click on the mod, click the subscribe button and make sure it's enabled in the Content Manager in-game as well. I started playing City Skylines in late 2015. I quickly recognized that the game didn't focus on elaborate tools to improve traffic. I especially missed being able to change lane arrows and remove traffic lights. So I checked out Steam Workshop and found a mod called Traffic Manager Plus by Segi. At that time, the author of the original Traffic Manager had already stopped working on it and others took over. I really loved Segi's mod, but on one hand it wasn't too stable back then, and on the other hand, I came up with so many ideas that I decided to create a fork of the mod. And by the way, don't ask why I chose the term President Edition. I really don't know. <laughs> Most people call it TMPE anyway. Nowadays, we work on TMPE as a team. Gruhu, Aubergine18 and Fire Controller, to name a few, plus several other GitHub contributors, have to continue developing the mod further. Traffic Manager is a mod that is simple to use for the player with a deep complexity under the hood. Whether you want to toggle traffic lights on or off, modify speed limits, change how traffic will use certain lanes, or simply snap like Thanos and have all of your problems disappear, you can do that and much more. Which, when combined with a custom advanced vehicle AI, a new parking AI, and dynamic lane selection, will go a super long way to making almost all of your traffic problems a thing of the past. All of this is, of course, assuming that Traffic Manager doesn't completely melt your PC. It is a bit of an intense mod sometimes, and it is one you're gonna wanna be careful with, especially if you're running a lower-end PC system. One thing we would like to address is improved parking AI logic. We want to make sims more aware of available parking spaces in the vicinity. Another thing we would like to integrate is the emergency vehicle evasion or short E feature. We want to make it possible for cars to form a rescue lane for emergency vehicles on duty. A prototype already exists, but some detailed work still needs to be carried out. It's always frustrating seeing your ambulances, your police cars and your fire trucks stuck in a huge traffic jam. So the emergency vehicle evasion feature is something I'm personally really excited for. On top of that, to fix this problem currently, you can go in and you can lane manage a little different, you can set up your traffic lights a little bit different, or if you're me, you can tear everything apart and start again. With that said, pro tips can go a pretty long way as well. One method I regularly use to solve traffic congestion is the following. First. Find the bottleneck. Follow the line of cars until you reach the intersection or point where behind it traffic starts moving freely again. Second, solve the issue. Okay, this one is easier said than done. You really have to use your mental power here because there's no single solution to all of your problems. Try to imagine cars as if there were water flowing through a pipe system. If the pipe is too narrow, not much water will flow through per minute. Similarly, if there is only one lane available for left turns, not many cars will make it through the intersection in a given time interval. By increasing the pipe diameter or designating a second turn lane, you can double up the capacity of your water pipe or of your canal for left turning cars. Third, repeat. After resolving one bottleneck, usually the next one appears immediately. So repeat the process until you reach a point where traffic flows smoothly again. Once you've loaded into your city, all you need to do in order to access Traffic Manager is click on the crown in the corner and you will be given 12 different options, different tools to choose from. 
starting in the top left and going across, you have switch traffic lights. This option will allow you to completely delete traffic lights at any intersection that has them and will allow you to add traffic lights to any intersection without them. Manual traffic lights. If automation isn't your thing, then this option will let you control when traffic lights at any intersection go green or red, all with the simple click of a button. While this isn't something you'll be wanting to do forever, the handy counter display is actually something that's super useful for one of the other options within Traffic Manager that we'll be getting to in the next video. Lane Arrows This is your simple fix for traffic that pops a cheeky U-turn in places where traffic shouldn't be popping cheeky U-turns. If you've got a highway off-ramp or a roundabout intersection thing, then you'll want to use this option to stop traffic from turning in directions that you don't want it to turn. All you need to do is click the button, click on the road that you want to edit, and toggle the arrows as you want them or as you want rid of them. Lane Connector I see many people overusing the Lane Connector tool. Even a single incorrectly placed lane connection can easily mess up the traffic in a whole area. Personally, I prefer switching on the option for highway-specific lane merging and splitting rules. This removes the need to place lane connections at every highway intersection. At simple city junctions, I mostly only change the lane arrows. I use the lane connection tool only for junctions with five or more roads or at dedicated places where I want cars to follow a very specific lane transition pattern. One pro tip, hold shift and press S to create a set of stay on lane connections. By repeatedly pressing S while holding shift, you can choose whether to apply the pattern to individual road sides only. The lane connector tool is, and I cannot stress this enough, extremely important, extremely useful, and probably my favorite part of Traffic Manager. Disable despawning. Much like a certain British name brand wood stainer, paint, and preservative, this tool does exactly what it says on the tin. The base game makes vehicles despawn when traffic flow becomes a problem. The toggle despawn button gives you the opportunity to challenge yourself. The question is, can you design a city with free flowing traffic and without despawn? Clear traffic. Similar to the last option, except not in the slightest, the clear traffic option or tool will let you forcibly despawn every vehicle on every road on the map with a simple click of a button, or snap of your gauntlet, if you will. And that, as they say, is that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here on the City Skylines YouTube channel. That's not all, though. There are six more tools that we need to go through within Traffic Manager President Edition, so do be sure to click that subscribe button, get notified, and tune in next time, where we're going to be diving into those six remaining tools. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye